Good morning, noon or night, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else, and welcome to the Brilliant Talk Show. I'm Dragon Slayer one five zero zero one. I'm Curse of Oinos. Please change the logo again. Yep. There we Boom. Go. It's talk show time. Today's topic is args, but before that, um, I do want to tell a little story. This came up in um, because. The Twitch was open and not muted for a little second. Oh, Uh-oh, don't scary. T- it's context. <laughs> Besides, what, like, you don't get many, like, watches, and what harm does it do to tell them? Um. Okay. That's what Psychonauts look like? Anyways. Um, one time, a couple of years back, I think it was, like, around four years ago, maybe five. Um, I was in, like, this music program, and we were putting on a show at, um, I don't know, I don't remember it that way well, but one time, uh, we were in this super fancy, like, recording room, and, like, we were really young, so we messed around with the settings, there was no supervisor guy in there, because the, um, person running it was like, I'm gonna leave you guys in here, and I trust you to work on the band stuff, I trust you to work on the performances uh, without supervision while I go help some of the younger kids, Um, and immediately we started messing up, messing around with the mic settings, because there was like a board of like switches and dials and things on the wall, Um, and we immediately messed with it, and there were, we got feedback, and it was so loud, and nobody um, had any idea how to turn it off, let alone wanted to take their hands off from their ears to turn it back off. It was so loud. The supervisor guy came back in from the other room, and he was like, I'm so disappointed in you guys, and turned it back, and we were all just like, ah, it is. Anyways, yeah, that was the story. Um, uh, also, you might notice... Don't do that. Don't do that. ASMR break. No. You might notice that, um, Oyanos is much more, like, hearable. That's because we got a new mic. Um, it's a cool mic, and... If we were able to plug, if we had like a little port thing for multiple mics, we could have our own mics. Yeah. We don't have that. We have our own mics though. Yeah, but like, we don't have a little adapter. Um, also before we get into it, I'd like to tell Mm -hmm. a teeny tiny story, like not really a story. But, like, I'd like to say something. You know how I streamed uh, Frog Fractions last Sunday? Yeah. I forgot to um, upload that VOD on the day, but... Um... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm stupid? Yeah, you are, but what? Like, I was, like... I, I've never watched Frog Fractions video, um, and there's Frog Fractions on my recommended. What? How did YouTube know that I played it was... But, no, it's because I'm on the YouTube, um, for a Frog Fractions song, for OST, that I played in the beginning, and I'm stupid for that. Um... Yeah, um, yeah, um, ARGs! Well, starting off similarly <laughs> to uh, the music, we will be starting with the Frog Fractions Arg. And yeah. I am making a paper craft of a null shard from the Room 3. Yeah, so... By Fireproof Games. Um, I highly recommend playing it if you haven't already, but please play it in order. Why are you making it towards me? Uh, because uh, equal You're distance, you know? Equ- 
equality, the equity, because you're louder. Um. So yeah, no. I highly recommend those games if you haven't already. They're very similar vibes to like. Also, Ugg. we have a jar of spicy Skittles here. Oh, we should play Mario Party, but instead of uh, we could <laughs> not Mar play Mario Party, but Mario we should do the Party? Mario Party CPU battles. But instead of drinking, we should just um, full cup is five spicy Skittles. Small drink is one, and um, uh, large drink, a big sip, is three. Yeah, we should do that. It will be absolute hell. Uh, Mars Baba probably isn't going to want to join in on that one. No. Um, but, yeah, we've got a jar of those. I might be the only one to eat them. I might I not like even them. eat them. Uh, but I don't eat them for my enjoyment. We're gonna start with the frog fractions. Do you have a basic? Uh, no. Mm, hey, I, I wasn't the one who thought then that I was a good idea. It is a good idea. I can go get my glue stick, but um. Um. Yeah. yeah frog I need to dip. fractions. A R G. That was a big one, wasn't it? Nah, like, it was like really underground. It was so small. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was huge. It was spanned across like multiple games. More than games. Mm, yeah, there was like a magazine or something. And like, it took what two years i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna look this up because it's 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 no good us talking about something we have no idea what we're talking about exactly. that's not entertaining i mean sometimes it oh is. yeah it is sometimes it, it is but like eventually um as long as it comes back to bite the person that's making uh, the content and the art is um, entertaining. Otherwise, it's just someone that's like very pretentious talking about something. And it's so annoying. <laughs> or if they're being like chill about it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, this is really big. It, it's so big that, like, the, um, Game Detectives website, like, puts, like, a, the, there are two separate, like, quote, ARGs that took place. Uh, one of which is simply a part of another. Um... No way, I thought they were completely separate ARGs. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, eventually that's, that's going to, mm, like, become not funny. That's gonna run out of, like, humour eventually. What, the sarcasm? Yeah. <laughs> you do it too much, it's gonna become not funny. Um, but I have to... Okay, and memes are uh, not memes are uh, vine but yeah memes too still get huge amounts of views on youtube and um, like specific channels just do memes and memes and memes and yet uh, they're different memes and you're doing the same joke it's not the same joke it's about different things i, I need to go to the toilet you entertain them they didn't need to know that. You could have just been like, all right, I'm going to be right back. Okay. So, I... <laughs> I'm doing paper craft right now. I'm going to go get a glue stick. I'll be right back. Or, oh, almost pulled the headphones onto the floor. Okay. Yeah, 
I was never gone. What happens if I shine a light into the microphone? Do you guys want to find me? I'm not sure if that'll do anything, honestly. Let's see, who's there? In fact, what did I miss? We don't actually have any views. What is that? What? what? Uh, that's the, um, <laughs> like, with special guest. Um, I am back. So, let's... let's no, I thought you were still gone. No, that was that one wasn't fine. Let's go through uh, probably timeline. That that'll be a good. Okay, this definitely is good, entertaining content, and I definitely didn't poke myself with the paper. Okay. What are you going to do for the new year? I did Dynamic Crossing. Uh, what? You, you were on the, for the countdown last year. Yeah. So I did Dynamic Crossing this year. Okay. We were talking about Frog Fractions ARG. I'm really bored and you're not doing anything about it. You're not um, like talking about the ARG. And we literally, I'm not sure if the two viewers are humans or bots, but I'm not, they're not talking, so I'm just going to show like you this, bots. Actually, this thing is like... Say hi if you're not a bot. Th this thing is like really like long and complicated and boring, so I, I'm going to go to the like... The, the, the cool part of it with the hand sigil and the hidden across multiple games bit. That was a glue stick. Obviously. Mm, not obvious. Um. Did you want your headphones back? Uh, no. Okay. I don't need them. After all, the microphone's not on that. But don't put it there. <laughs> You idiot. What? What? No. Oh, you have a little thingy, don't you? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm not putting it back on the table because the table is too crowded and I need that space. Oh, my goodness. What? You're the one whose desk is, like, crazy crowded. What do you need all this stuff on here for? Oh, my goodness. Anyway. Um, okay, on uh, the 9th of November 2016, Firewatch was updated with on PC with free roam mode. Um, unlike the Xbox One version that had been available since September, the PC version September. also added a hand sigil. Um, uh, the sigil is on a board in one of the abandoned old shelters at Camp Arapa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Where is that? Oh, uh, Camp. I have no oh, idea. Oh, no, I cannot pronounce that either. No. Very And on the cover of a journal found behind it. Before the update, the board had a symbol that reminded um, Bloodborne uh, Hunter Mask. The text of the journal found behind the board had some lab letters italicized, which... What is this? Which what? This is terrible design. Look at this. It's just yeah. a gap. It's just a gap? Yeah. Bruh. Oh I mean, could you have added another 
tab there? I was dumb, okay? So I'm going to add another tab. It's going to be a double tab and it's going to attach to both. Oh, like, how do you get it in there? Hmm? People. Skills. People have trouble with this all the time with cubes. Fight me. I call it the uh, last tab problem. Um, but Only noobs can't do the last tab in a cube. Only boring people. Okay, so the text of the journal found behind the board had some letters italicized, which spelled out Firewatch Game got dot no Firewatch Game com da data client JPEG, which was a link to um like a jumble of letters on an image. Um, and then, wait, that's, that's not the first bit. Wait, what? Um, where's the top? Okay, in May f in 2015, a strange image was found in the Steam app root directory of the game Crypt of the Necrodancer. The purpose of the image remained unknown until another glyph was obtained by snooping through the original image using a hex edit. No clear answers about the images emerged for some time. Around the same time, a similar image was found by players of the game The Magic Circle, which also consisted of circles and arcs. The image was behind an airlock and had a similar sigil depicted on it shortly after the game's release in June 2015. Mm. This 2015? This that's ages ago. I mean, that's six years ago now, right? Yeah, ages. I mean, it's ages, but like, not that long ago. Oh, we gotta get that. You gotta get that. I should turn that thing off. I don't even, like, use it anymore. Oh, Papa, I was supposed to move Sarah's house. Whoops. Um, I've been meaning to do that for ages. Yeah, like, I don't understand. But 2015 wasn't... Like, that long ago. That's only, like, six years. That's six years ago. It's not... <laughs> um, alright. Uh, then... On 23rd of January 2016, a user discovered yet another similar marking in a game called Mini Metro. Shortly afterwards, users came forward and claimed that they had seen similar markings in other games, including Sokobond and the Kingdom of Loathing, Loathing. By a combination of astute Observation and dumb luck, the image. I saw gay, so I said gay. That's not bullying, that's an astute observation. The image coined the I sigil, the word sigil came from the resource names used in the games, now tied half a dozen games together. So, uh, Done. In each game where the sigil is Pyramid. present. Nice. It's a pyramid. It's an old shard. Starts spinning like this. Okay. Like in the game. I don't remember that. But you know, I that was a long Spin. time ago. Uh, in each game where the sigil is present, it is accompanied by a second hidden circular glyph with little circles, squares, and triangles on concentric parts. Ah, 
What is I your dirt? I definitely did not lick that. It is so gross. Oh my goodness. Guys, don't lick um, paper with a spoon. I'm going to eat Skittle. It's your turn to read. What? Where? Um, while the sigil itself was easily visible, even though been in vague places or displayed after very specific actions, seeing the second image required completing some challenge, some challenge or figuring out some devious puzzle planted in the game. In certain cases, the glyph was recovered using data mining strategies, i.e. digging through the files and the assets of the game before solving the mystery the intended way. Right. Uh, do I say the next, um, do I say the big picture? Uh, no. Okay. Because where, the, 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 that was found, and then this is, oh, we've done everything now. So we're going to go down. <laughs> ah. What? So the first one, of course, was Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Image placed in the root yeah. directory of the Steam game folder. Crypt in the Necrodancer's um, devs were uh, boring and just put it in the game files. Boring. Uh, Mini Metro. I, I've seen this one myself. Uh, mm. It's in, like, it has a random chance to appear in the uh, credits. Then you tap it, and it gives you a secret map, and you gotta, you gotta like make the sigil, and then it'll give you the piece. Um, then Legend of Dungeon. Uh, a sigil will appear when you click a dwarf in the pause menu. Puzzle piece is unlocked when using the remote control in a room on the... Oh, I probably shouldn't be saying this. That's fine. Okay. When using the remote control in a room on the 26th floor after finding the sigil. Yeah, wh why, why would you say you didn't want to say this? Because it's, kind of, it's kind of spoilers as to how to find the piece. Oh, spoilers? This... ARG has been like... Hey, where'd the desktop audio come from? What? Oh, there's a notification, okay. Oh, I got a notification? Whoops, ignore that. There was no notification. The, the, uh, the Magic Circle. Have you heard of any of these games? Nope. I mean, I've heard of Crypt of the Necrodancer. It's pretty popular. And yeah, I've heard of I've heard of Crypt of the ne Necrodancer, Mini Metro, um, Circle Bond, I think. Um, I, yeah, I heard I've heard of Circle Bond, but like I can't really place where. Uh, me neither. I just heard it around somewhere. Uh, probably on Tumblr. In my case. I hear a lot of... The like, androgynous urge to bonk yourself in the head with the glue stick. <laughs> What's um, the soda one? Uh, soda drinker pro. Imagine um, not being a pro soda drinker. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, you find it by no clipping. Okay. <laughs> it's not really no clipping. I, I've seen a video of that one, and it... it it's just a wall that doesn't have collision. You just walk through. It's not a glitch. Damn, that's boring. Um, magic circle the sigil appears on the airlock, and the puzzle piece appears above the room. Damn, I, crazy. Like, what does that mean? Um, you, in like, um, when you go onto experimental mode in Minecraft Bedrock. And you can, like, you get all the, um, you get all of the chemicals. Um, do the coloured torches, um, do they actually emit coloured light? No, nothing Damn. emits coloured light. 
Well, not unless you get a mod for it, but I haven't been able to do that. Hmm. Uh, anyway, that's not experimental mode. That's education edition. Ah, uh, education edition. Can you still do that on the base game? I think. Damn. Oh, wait, well, on I Java edition? No, not on Java no. edition. You can't do it on Java edition. No. Um, because on a map I need both invisible item frames and I prefer colored light, but you can't get colored light. Um, so, like you can't get a sideways beacon. I think you should be able to do that. <laughs> sideways beacon? I think... It did never turn on. I know, it's so annoying. Because I want to get stage lights in Minecraft, but to do that I need like a light source and I'd like it to be colored because they're fancy stage lights. But I don't know how to do that because there's no colored light in Minecraft and I want it. Mojang, Mojang, if you're watching this by any chance, colored light. Mm. Give me that sweet colored light, man. We want colored light, Mojang. Uh, I'm oh, so tempted want. to eat one, but like, uh... Which ones are the least spicy? Uh, they're all spicy. Um, we have Neon Struct. The sigil appears on the shirt of a character named Stranger. Puzzle piece found by playing through the game. We will be at this for hours if we go in all the detail. It's so boring. It is. Well, but I'll, I'll just <laughs> like say like I don't know about you guys. I'm not sure if there is a you guys, but I'm so bored. Well, I'm I'm just gonna point out the interesting ones then. Um. Watch me turn into an ASMR channel. Uh, there's. Belly ahead. What? But anyway, I'm pointing that one out because it's free on uh, itch.io. And it looks pretty. Yeah. There's also. There's also like. Um. Like there's a bunch of free ones in here, like flickers. There's a sigil on a tree. Uh, but like that one, you gotta speed run to get the piece. Um, and there's slide the shakes, which is also free because it's uh, like it's mobile. Uh, but. Uh, that that leads to a real life location for the piece. What if I put foam over my mic like a mic cover? That would be really funny. I'm not sure um, it would work. Kingdom of Loathing has uh, oh, a game because it's on a website, and that is in the secret government laboratory zone but like that that that's on a link i want sigils that are free and you have to win the game on steam oh yeah i, I this this one is cool oh yeah i i want this yeah people people watching um we're probably gonna play some of the free ones and uh, yeah, we're probably going to play some of the free ones on this list. Throw back to the time I cut myself with scissors. And exactly one of these that isn't free on this channel in later dates. Like, you have to win the game. I I've seen a bit of, like, puzzle solving for this one. Uh... And it looks like a good game, even without the, like, cool ARG stuff. Uh, I definitely will be checking this out, like, 
my on my own. Okay, I'm gonna take this back. Good. Um, oh, sorry for the loud noise, but that was the chair. I'm gonna take the glue stick and I'm gonna shard that. Oh. Um. Also, one of yeah, one of these is Choice Chamber, which is a Twitch integration game. Uh, that basically, I I play the game. You pick the things that happen in the game, and I've 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 wanted to play Choice Chamber on Twitch since. I've seen other people play Choice Chamber. Um, and like it being part of an ARG and me getting to do part of an ARG that's been finished for years the, is, is, is a added bonus. It's definitely worth the $10 I'll have to spend eventually. Um, One hour till a new song drops. Ooh. There's a bunch of other games oh that are hey, 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 interesting. Hey, scroll down a bit. But scroll one down. of them is Quop, the Flash game. Uh, it only like appears in the WebGL version of that Flash game, but it's in there. You have to go 30, uh, 30, 30 meters. You have to go three meters backwards uh, um. to find the sigil. And to see the piece, you have to play it on like a device with an accelerometer. You gotta go backwards in real life to see. Oh, wait, no. You gotta go backwards in the game to see the sigil and then turn the device upside down. Upside down from the starting point or upside down? You're going to turn the device upside down. Like your phone. I know, I know. And you have to be at the sigil. Which uh, I've tried. Like, it's so bad. It's so hard. Three Not meters applicable. backwards? Leads to the letter soup. Yeah, that that leads to the mess of letters. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, um... I, I've, like, tried to get to that thing. Like, three meters backwards in Quop? That's harder than going, f like, three meters forward. For sure. And this is Quop. Um, so yeah. Wait. Oh, just a second. This, yeah, that's right. I, I was like, wait, wasn't Quop made by some, like, famous guy? Who was it? Uh... It, I, I just looked it up. It's Bennett Foddy. Yeah. Quop. One of the most... I don't know if it's one of the most difficult. But, like, definitely one of the most um, infamous Flash games. It was made by the same guy as one of the most infamous, like, Rage quit games. Can you believe it? Um, questionable appearances. Um, Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this. This is like hmm. 
There's a Roblox level with this sigil in it. Like, some kid on Roblox was like, Yo, there's an ARG with all these this sigil in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a sigil in my game, and it's, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> Is is hilarious. It's, it's take a oh, it's look. a Roblox level. Oh, what? Roblox level. <laughs> it's just called no 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 no. I love that. Wait, what? Come on. It's taken a while to load. It's just called no 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 no. It's it's hilarious. Um Plot twist. Tomorrow I stream me playing Hatsune Miku Colorful pa uh, Colorful Stage. This is the new um, song. It can't hear it. I know. Um, I was talking to you. <laughs> and there's also one in accounting. Isn't isn't that the one by the um guys who made Rick and Morty? Who? What? Accounting. Oh, you wouldn't know, would you? No, I don't know who made Rick and Morty either. <laughs> um, but there's a bunch of sigils that weren't found either. Um... There was one in There was There was a sigil in Wayward Sky but no peace apparently Uh there was one in Hot Tin Roof um uh that was in a hidden dungeon apparently um there was a fake piece of the puzzle in pony island uh which was made an official part of the arg when it ended because uh, his name was in the credits, which is cool. Um, there was one in uh, Glitch City Magazine. Uh, straight up, just in a magazine, there was a sigil um and there was like a connect the dots for an image link uh there was one also in uh legacy of the elder star i don't know these games by the way Um, anyway, yeah, Frog Fractions ARG was pretty big, um, and pretty interesting. There was span, it spanned across all these games. 
Um, Put down what's on the head. Hi, right. what is this? The pig is just chilling in the sky with it. You got anything to add? No, of course not. Um, after all they, uh, after all those uh, pieces were found, they put all the things together into a map. And they then put it over the tangled lettuce soup and they got like a word or something and that led to the frog fractions, you know. Um, this is boring. Uh, you know any good ARGs we could talk about? Um, I know many, but they're not really new things to talk about. I mean, is it, like, there aren't many ARGs, like, around anymore. No one, like, makes them. No, well, I mean. No, nah, everyone's in the process of making them now. We'll see the new ones pop out in, like, a couple of years. <laughs> In 2022, the year of the ARGs. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, um. Wouldn't it be cool if we made an ARG? That would be cool, but it's way too much work. Yeah. I don't think we'd be able to do that. <laughs> No, you know me too well. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's taking so long to load. Like I would, I would no. like, I, I'm, yeah, I, I wouldn't be good at that. Like, no, nah, we all remember that time. Uh, we all, I definitely remember Ace Nerov, which is a pathetic that, failure that of an ARG. That was barely an ARG. That was more like a puzzle game. But bad. I, I made an actual ARG once, but like it was way too easy. Um, uh, yeah, like just li literally all the codes were like I looked up a generator for them and just put the text through, and that's it. That's all I did. Um, but like, it's, it's, and that was inspired by goddamn, cic the, the flipping cicada one. What? Like, that reminds me, was that ever solved? Like, I heard they got stuck on that one. Like, the people who were solving it, like, straight up just got stuck. Mm, vaguely. I don't know if that's not. Um. I, did that ever get solved? I gotta, I gotta look that up sometime. Wait, why is everyone going on Expo? I'm not good at this game. Um. But. This has happened huh. a long time before I matched with these guys and they were all doing like expert on master and I was just like hey, hey I'm gonna do normal because I'm not very good at this level and then everyone's missing them like you see up in the top where people miss notes and I was like I do not have such weaknesses um but yeah I, I'm not really good at like solving ARGs let alone making them best I could do is like make a website and I'm not really good at that either that well at least um, um what do I want to talk about then mm. I don't know 
next time remind me not to let you play on your iPad. It's distracting you. Especially no, like, I wouldn't have played if you're doing anything interesting, actually. I'm supposed to be running a podcast here. You're boring. Bruh. You were the one who suggested this. How Go do on. I have over a hundred? I have over a thousand lives. I am exposing you live on Twitch. You were the one who suggested this topic. Oh my god, you're exposing me live to our zero viewers. We probably have more than zero viewers. I can't tell. <laughs> but like, there's people here. They're, they might be bots, but they might not. If you're not a bot, say hi right now. Not everyone is gonna... Um, I did not get much sleep last night. I do not know how I did not die. And I didn't get the least amount of more, points, actually. That was blue. More Skittles. Oh, blue disconnected. <laughs> that really makes me look really bad. I bought a stamp and it's, um... Yeah, see, me personally, I did B. See? You can get B. Uh, um, any good ARGs? Um, I'm thinking. Oh, that's lame. You heard of, you heard of the Wilbur yeah. Soot ARG? I have, actually. But the, I should go with the editor Wilbur ARG because he's planning a new one. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, I love Rin. Um, one of the things when you press um on do a show it says um it's me delivering good vibes no matter the weather and she's my second favorite vocaloid um birthday uh Rinland's birthday is um next week on the 27th of um December um and Rin is my second favorite vocaloid um after flower so oh my god that's so great. And you said we... That's a space there. What? It's on the thing! What? Where? Talk show. Do what? I thought it was one word. Wait. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Um, that was very out of nowhere. Also, oh. you can't rely on things. With me for things. I have almost as bad as memory as you. Uh, here's a tip to ARG makers. Wait for this well, specific date is not a good puzzle. It's boring. Mm -hmm. for th oh, jackpot girls. And it's also a bit lazy. Like, you should not just... May, if you need to wait, that's an indication that you did not plan things. I, I've done it before, where the puzzle was just wait until this date. Or, like, wait until... I smell a disband. I've done stuff. It's, it's not a good puzzle. You're going to plan things through. Um, tonight's one is probably going to be a shorter one. This was not... Yeah, it was not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, but maybe we can talk about other things. Uh, like what? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, play any good games lately? Yeah, this. <laughs> oh. Um... 
Uh, Usually folks, I'm really bad at um For the folks at home what game is that? It's not registering when I tap. What is the What is the name of the game? Um I had to name Miku Colorful Stage. I'm usually bad at rhythm games because because they don't have songs that I actually listen to, but this I know most of the songs that are actually on this. They actually have um, my karaoke song on here. Mm. Um, which is Alive by Ichi no Se Lupo. Um, I, have I don't know how to pronounce it because I'm currently talking in English. So I'm very sorry. How are you... You wouldn't be expected to like... For context, I just saw some real squiggly lines on that game. Um, no, you're not expected to move because there, there's a spot in the middle where you don't need to move, you just hold it down. Yeah. But it's just for the aesthetics of the song. Yeah. Um, I have never found any music-based game that has songs I already <laughs> listen to. Like... I, I've seen some, like, s music based games that had good music that I started listening to because of that game, but never, like, oh my songs oh, yeah, or music time. that I had already been listening to before I found the game. Um, also, recently. I've I've been watching a lot of Inscription because of the Casey mod, the Casey's mod update in beta that looks pretty cool. I might get Inscription, but I probably won't play it on stream. Not the like normal version of it because I've already seen it and it's it's kind it's kind of boring to watch someone play a game that they've like already like played it's it's not that fun in my experience um but i might play casey's mod when it comes out on stream i might play it i might play it before then um but i've been like drawing my own like custom cards for that it's been fun. Can't wait until there's like an online generator for this sort of stuff. Like every yeah. <laughs> everyone and their kids will be making inscription cards, and it'll be cool. Except for those like inevitable like trash quality ones. <laughs> um. Did it? That's what uh, really what it says. Oh, it actually used the word normies. Holy flip. Yeah. I mean, she did start. He, she, um, she's in um, a band with these guys. Makes music on the side and gets two hundred thousand views after having the music up for like a week. So yeah, and then she just kind of dipped. She went into another world with Miku in it, and then like, all right, bye. Like, I'm leaving you guys. Um. But, yeah. This probably wasn't a good, like, topic. We should probably do some research next time. If. Uh, um. For our. For the sake of our future selves, you got any, uh, good topics for, like, next week? No. No? Uh, you heard it here first, our future selves, flip you. We have no ideas, just like you don't now. But then, who knows, weird's, weird's a word. <laughs> Words are weird. Um, 
that's not all we have time for, but that's all we have the knowledge for. Um, plug your stuff. Buenos. Um, I'm Curse of Oinos on Twitch, and I just found out that the orange hair guy from um, Vivid Bad Street, the street one where they're trying to surpass Rad Weekend, is Anna's older sister from the depressed one that looks like they produce nightcore music. It's literally called Nightcord at 25, which is a fancy way of saying 1am and it's a mix mix of nightcore nightcore and discord so um um yeah but they just re produce really depressing music and it's kind of sad like all the other shows are like yeah i want to surprise this awesome music event or yeah i'm gonna perform um live theater shows and be happy and fun and perform the carnival i want to be an idol i just got out of hospital and you guys are my besties let's form a band and then this one is just like we all want to die what no i'm the difference between these guys the the contrast between the different bands are like crazy i'm dragon slayer 15001 <laughs> and other platforms <laughs> i'm dragon slayer 15001 on other platforms um dragon slayer official here um i've got youtube uh, I've, i'm going to put up the um frog fractions i'm going to put up this um also, uh, next Sunday, we were going to do uh, Micro Mages Part 2. Yeah. Right? With just us. Because Mars Bar, Bar does not want to play again. It'll be cool. Join us Sunday for that. Yeah. And Wednesday next week. For the next episode. See you later. Bye.